All right, boys, so one of the packages we've been waiting for has come in. So today, we're gonna talk a little bit about gear and helmets. So we always do tutorials and we always talk about pool parts and performance and this and that. Today, we are gonna change the topic for this episode because I got a little fun unboxing for you. So today, this episode is brought to you by Nex Helmets. So let me show you what this is. Some other stuff, booklets as well to show you guys. So in my opinion, and uh, a lot of my buddies that you guys have seen on the channel and people that sponsor the channel and view the channel, you know, a, a lot of people's opinions, this is the best helmet that's kept secret. This helmet is shipped to your door for about five to six hundred bucks, depending on where you go. But let me show you what you get for that. Big shout out to Ricardo for sending this to us to review. It's so light. It is so light, guys. So this is by far the lightest helmet that we've tested. Um, just to give you a comparison, this is the brand new Nex XR2 Carbon Pure. Check that out, guys. So. You can actually see the bits of carbon fiber in it. It's such a good helmet. Like, they fit so good. So it does fit like a race fit helmet. And it does have, you know, the, the peripheral view. So you don't have to feel like you're pushing your helmet up. But these are just, it's such a good deal for 500 bucks. Wow, this helmet is so light. Okay, so this helmet comes in at 1250. So 1,250 grams which just to put in a comparison to show you really how light this helmet is. This is a K3 SV AGV. So this is like a street road helmet. And this is what I usually moto vlog in. Like I have the mic, but basically, you know, just the helmet itself comes in at 1,470 kilograms, 1,470 kilograms, or excuse me, grams. Um, so it's it's about 200 grams heavier than this the AGV race helmets like the Pista the Corsa all those helmets um, These come in roughly the same as the street helmets So I think it's like 1443 is what these helmets weigh so 1443 grams. So the fact that this helmet is In my opinion a little bit bigger height wise and length wise compared to the AGV Pista um it's amazing that it's only 1250 grams like this thing is so sweet so let's kind of uh open it test it out a little bit i've been waiting for this helmet for a long time these things are so nice so we're going to kind of give you just a side by side so you can actually see how good the peripherals are actually on the next helmet um this isn't really a comparison video of which one you should buy. I just want to compare the next helmet because I mean, I'm so impressed with this helmet, not just the weight, but the build design and everything with it. It's just, it's such a nice helmet. So as you can see, you actually have like a good locking mechanism. It's not like a, a cheap helmet. You, you should kind of expect that and be guaranteed that for around the, the $500 price range. But what's good is you have a lot of padding in here. So not just the cheek pads, it actually steps down like most race helmets do. Um, it has, you know, the back brace, not just, a, you know, like an inner liner. So it's actually a really, really, uh, really great built helmet to say the least. I mean, these are nice. So sweet. So now I want to show you guys how it looks with it on. So as you can see, um, with a race helmet, it keeps, you know, super snug on your cheeks, but also right here on your forehead. So you can actually, you know, 
when you're riding, you can actually keep what's called your peripherals, you know, up looking straight ahead at full tuck instead of having to hold your helmet up or keep adjusting it. So it has great adjustment, but what's really good about these helmets is a lot of race helmets, they have, you know, a lot of padding on your chin where you really can't move around or it feels like you can't swallow. And you can hear, not too bad. I can still talk pretty good in this helmet without biting my cheeks. Um, but I have to say, as far as feeling wise with the peripherals that I have, it, it, it feels a little bit better than the AGV. So just keep that in mind, like when you guys do buy a helmet like this, you want it to fit more snug than a, you know, 700 mile ride helmet where you're gonna be, you know, wearing the helmet for a long time and a little bit of shakiness is good. So this helmet actually fits really, really nice. With these AGVs, they fit kind of a bigger shell and a smaller cheek pad setup, but I'm, I'm overall impressed. I mean, even their first generations, they, they didn't look as good as this. They were actually painted here, but now they're, they're carbon fiber and it's, it's just so light. I know I can't talk about it enough, but man, this helmet, I can't wait to get out there and actually test it. Um, now what you get with the helmet for that price. So what you get for this price range is they have three color variations of the carbon pure. You can get it in the black, you know, excuse me, the carbon pure in the high vis yellow. And then they also have a red and then they have like a white, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description definitely where you guys can go, you know, and, and buy these firsthand because they're in, in our opinion, they're just the helmet. That's the best kept secret. It's super light. It's a great protection and it's a great bargain. I mean, we're, we're actually, the fact that we're talking about this helmet compared to a thousand $15 helmets is just great in itself. Um, now we kind of want to go off on, you know, we all like modifying stuff and a lot of you guys, just like on your bikes, same thing with your helmets. Not a lot of us still rock the clear visor. Um, some of you may, like if you actually go to the racetrack and, and say you're using um, race tear offs, you know, the actual plastic things you tear off here. Um, some people do like clear. I do like it from time to time, but I want to show you what Nex offers because a visor for this helmet is almost $140 and a visor for this helmet is almost $100 for a reflective or a chrome or a tinted shield. They get really expensive. Well, for Nex, they're only 50 bucks, 55 bucks. So we actually have, this is like the chrome, uh, I think what they call like the chrome smoke iridium. But I, I like this the best. I mean, this is gonna look great with the helmet. But for 55 bucks, you can order an extra shield like this. And it just, it makes the helmet so much better. And when you're on the tr racetrack, you know, you don't wear sunglasses. So it just, it makes it a lot better with the, the glare and everything. And then this one is the actual tinted yellow. So we got a couple of these just to show you guys because pictures don't do it justice. I mean, it just, they look so much better in person. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but this is like a gold tint, not really a yellow tint. So let's go ahead and put these on the helmets and just see how they look as well, just to get a different variation. What do you guys think? That's the high vis yellow tinted shield with the actual high vis yellow edition helmet. I mean, that looks really good. I would definitely rock that over the clear. Goes a lot better with the helmet, but I know which one you guys want to see. Let's, uh, let's check out the black chrome. Let's see how that looks. Makes us all feel like RoboCop. Now, any of you guys that do run a chrome shield on any of your helmets now, you already know, uh, keep a lens cloth pretty close because when you're manhandling these, you get fingerprints over them so quick. But that is with the Chrome Iridium. So that's definitely how we're gonna run it. But man, that looks so good. These are such good looking helmets. I mean, you have a lot of ventilation on them as well, which definitely uh, plays a big part when you're on the track. It, uh, it gets hot in your helmet and fogs up real quick. But man, overall I have to say, you know, I'm super impressed. And also what's really cool with these helmets is there's a lot of adjustability. So um, also in the package, you get these, uh, what they call the Ergo padding system. So you can actually on the inside of the helmet, under your cheek pads, you can actually pop these out and adjust it with extra foam, different foam, and you can always double up on them. But it just, there, there's so much adjustability. So please, I mean, if you like what we do here, I mean, definitely continue to support the channel and uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, but please check out these next helmets, man. I, I just, I can't say enough good things about them. Jeff was the first one that introduced me, you know, the 
the shop that we film at sometimes. And uh, I'm just I'm just so happy that they're on board and we get a chance to actually run these helmets this year and check them out. So do me a favor. I mean, support the channel, subscribe to us, and uh, go check out Next Helmets. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next one.